All right, guys. Oh, you guys want to go back to OG Fortnite or OG Minecraft? Which one would it be? You have to pick right now. Which one would it be? OG Fortnite. Minecraft. OG Fortnite Minecraft. <laughs> my favorite. Game. <laughs> my favorite game. My Fort Fort Minecraft. My new favorite game, bro. My new favorite game. How come you want to go back to Minecraft instead of Fortnite? Minecraft is just sort of like it's iconic. I don't know. It's just like it's hard to explain. It's I mean, like it's it is true, but Fortnite does have the sell record, all-time video game sell record. Minecraft doesn't have that. How about you, Nico? How about you? <sighs> Answer the question, Nico. Stop modeling. Stop model, bro. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. I spent at least twelve hours a day on that game. Fortnite. Yeah. Well, remember when like, we used to rush to all the season events? Yeah. Oh, bro. Like the season three rocket event. And obviously, anybody who are gamers or my viewers, and you understand, but like, like, oh, bro, that was that was the day. That was the event, bro. But yes, guys, welcome indeed back to the Bill Show podcast. Um, This is the first episode we're doing face cams. You guys think we should do more face cam episodes? I'm, I'm sure. kind of leaning towards in the future. Sure. Definitely do more because I'm definitely gonna, like, whatever. Write down in the comments down below, guys. Would you guys want to see more face cam or mix of both or just audio? Whatever is good. Um, real quick before we get the episode started, um, a lot of YouTubers telling me that a lot of you guys watching my episodes are not subscribed. So if you guys support me in the content and the uh, channel, make sure to subscribe. It helps me a lot and it shows that you guys enjoy the videos. So yeah, make sure, also make sure to follow the socials. Link in the description down below. So yeah. So uh, yeah, Fortnite or Minecraft. You know, Minecraft, Minecraft is a big gun, but Fortnite's better. I think. I mean, now now it would be Minecraft. But back then, if you asked me, like, 2018, for Fortnite, like, yeah, I would have I said, said Fortnite in a heartbeat. But yeah, like, my qu- leading, le- branching off to that, what 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 got you guys into gaming? What was your very first game you remember playing when you were little? Uh, Nico, you can start. This was Ark. Ark? Ark. Yeah. That was not Ark the was first, first game you played. What the hell do you mean? Oh. Well, on my main <laughs> gaming, obviously not in the Wii, but the first like main game that I played by myself was Ark. Really? That? All right. That, yeah. So Ark. the first game I ever played, um, it's a it's a long story, but basically yeah. what I played, it's like a mobile-ish oh, game. It's like a mobile. I, mobile? I I can't. Oh, it was like this weird like. Kung Fu Panda game or something like that. Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> yeah. What? Really? I don't know. I, I I swear to God. I swear this to God. Is it off was like brain. Off. What like really like heavily got me into gaming though? Um, I know it's gonna sound a little bit corny, but like real like what got me into like, gaming is like Five Minutes of Freddy's. I know it sounds really. No. Corny, yeah. No. That definitely like at the time could like obviously Markiplier. God, I went to Finance of Freddy's. Definitely. That was my first game that I ever played, but, like, it was the game that brought me to, like, <laughs> just... <laughs> Fuck, bro. I'm sorry. I, I like it. It's so bad. How are you no, going to say not. that? No, it's right, not. If you it's ask good. any gamer from, like, 2014, 15, there was the other one. That game was right, shit. By the way, let me correct myself. I lied. It wasn't Ark. Ark was my first PS4 game. Jetpack Joy, right? <laughs> I think so. Actually, no, wait a minute. It was Angry Birds. Angry Birds? I mean, so really? it was Angry Birds. Yeah, no, that was I good. I mean, your mom's was, was probably, you know, Clash yeah, Royale. Yeah. Clash Royale, really? <laughs> That's Toy Blast. I hate that game. But the, <laughs> I think the very first game that I've ever me- me- like, vividly playing was probably... Um... Uh, Born of the Wii Xbox Connect game. No, either that or Simpsons Hit and Run. Like, the original Xbox. Either that... Or, like, the, one of the old WWE games on the Wii. Because, like, honestly, before this whole Xbox and PC and PS4 debate, the Wii, the Wii owned all that. The Wii was just better than all three of them combined. <laughs> Is that funny, John? Do you think you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, man, no, man. Just Nico keep smiling. I can't, you know, like... Got a crush Nico, on him, bro? Hey, yo. This is an FYI. I didn't think I cleared this up. This is John. I had on last episode. This is John, and this is Nico. We have on the well, wait it's recording right now. Nico's on there. I had him on the second episode of the podcast, and this is John. I had him in the last episode of the podcast. Just clear that away. But yeah, honestly, like you know, we got what we had to we we had we fit, which bullied me because it was fat a lot. 
you know, the Dude, Wii board. I, I want, how old would I want to happen, Nico? Do you remember how old we were when, I, when that moment happened? That like, I think it was like seventh grade, bro. Were on seventh? The, you, no, I think it was, like was young because they called me obese. No. <laughs> it was seventh grade, Marco. It called me <laughs> seventh grade and he was obese, bro. Hell, bro. Yeah. I'm in a big guy all my life, thing. man. You stood on the thing and it went. <laughs> it basically told me, "Yeah, please get the fuck off me." <laughs> it just said, "Please get off me." I remember. I remember they used to try to guess. You remember that feature where they try to guess your age without telling your age? They would always get that shit wrong. Like a hundred percent of the time, they would always get that shit wrong. Like, dude, like one time they said I was like thirty years old, and I was like, "Yeah, I look. I look, I look thirty. Excuse me, by the way." Man and a young man body. I am. See, I have my moments where I can be mature and dead serious, and I'm, like, a grown-ass man, but then I can be, like, I, you know, ask Nico and John, I'm a grown-ass baby in a body, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm a five-year-old in a 16-year-old body. It's, fu- it's fucking weird. John, baby. John looks like a baby. Look at, he's a, he's, he, look at him, bro. Look at him. I credit how smart he was in last episode, but, like, he still looks like a little baby boy. John, you're a good boy, John. John's a good boy. <laughs> but, yeah, bro. Like, like, OG Wii, probably one of the best. Honestly, c- like, really could not be beaten. Uh, and that's why I just, I just really liked and loved about the OG Wii. But bra- kind of like branching off that as well, bro, is that our childhood, bro. I think most of our, and it's not really a theory, but it's just kind of proven, is that our childhood probably has the best memories of our lives. You know? Like, I mean, I don't think, how old was I when I met you, John? Because I know... I didn't meet you until a couple years ago though, because I know your brother when I was when I was younger, but I didn't know you. Yeah. Well, technically, what happened was I basically know you. I we explained this last episode, but basically, I I think I saw you first at like the um like the there was like a um and like a dog thing at Bernie's. I think you, David, and uh, Nico was actually there too. Nico was at the dog yeah, thing at Bernie's. Really. I think I just remember we almost got a dog that um we da- we just heard um was actually related to Trudy. Really? Yeah. It's yeah, crazy. Cause, uh, yeah. Because for those who don't know, my mom does um straighten our gum rescue, all, all those volunteer dog work. But yeah, that because but I met Nico when I was in second grade. I remember that. I don't remember the day I met him exactly, but I remember Mr. Oldham. You know, shout to Mr. Oldham. Oh man, he was. That was fun, dude. You remember? I remember that. Like that. I remember young Nico. Yeah, Nico used to like have colored hair. Remember that, bro? Nico's too focused on modeling right now, bro. I'm not. I'm <laughs> trying to what the it fuck out. you doing, bro? I said, do you remember when you were younger and you had to color all your know. damn hair? I'm trying to figure it out because you know I definitely didn't do that. That was all you. It, it was for like every month you had a new colored hair, bro. It was pink, then uh, green, then like uh, neon yellow. Then it was like <sighs> like a blondish reddish kind of one time. But yeah. Nah. So like I'm I am John. so hungry right now, dude. So I am. Uh, yeah, I can I can go for a steak right now, bro. Steak a at ten thirty at night. Ten yes! twenty at night. Anytime. I mean a cheese steak, any kind of steak. I mean there's so many kind of steaks that I like. Are you fucking mad, bro? Yeah, Why are you that? I mean, I'm a big guy, but I'm stuffed, bro. I had a big at dinner, bro. I got some chicken, Dude. some pork chop, bro, and pasta. Mwah. That shit was delicious. I had pork chop. Pork chops are underrated. I don't know if everybody knows that. Pork chops are really underrated. Yeah, listen. Uh, pork chops covered in breadcrumbs? What? I've never had breadcrumbs Dude, before. 10 out of 10. Is that weird? I've never had no. breadcrumbs before? No, I. Have you ever had a chicken cutlet? Oh, <laughs> fuck you. Anyways, <laughs> but yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like steak, bro. Like steak come in all shapes and sizes. I don't know if you all remember, but when I was little, I hated steak. I I would honestly every time my dad would get the barbecue up and whatever, I'll get like a hot dog, and my my dad and my brother have steak. And then the one time, it was just sitting there, and I was like, "What's that?" And I just got a little slither. And shit, and ever since I've been hooked, I can literally eat snakes for the rest of my day of my life. That's like one of my top. It's probably my favorite food in the world. The thing is that the one thing that I like, I like about steak, and it's really unique, is that 
steak can be turned to a lot of stuff. Like John said, cheesesteak, a burger, sausage. Well, that's not a really steak, but in the meat <laughs> kind of. Sausage? What? You never have a steak sausage? <laughs> no. No, I'm fucking fucking you. Yeah, but like, like yeah, burgers, um, <laughs> burgers. No, just like, yeah, like, steak is one of those unique things. And the thing is, like, it has a lot of different types of steak. Like, seriously, though, like, my favorite, to be honest, has to be either ribeye. Ribeye is always the thick, like, biggest. Like, honestly, you can go for a nice sirloin. It's more smaller, but it has more flavor. Or the strip, that's, like, more, like, you know. Like, personally, a big-ass ribeye. How about you, John? What's your favorite type of steak? Ah, uh, cheese steak, bro. And don't even get me started with that cheese whiz. No! Okay, a Philly fuck? cheese steak. Just normal, like, obviously steak. And then you get American cheese or provolone. Provolone. And some people even like sesame seeds. G get rid of that. No. Get rid that of that. That didn't answer my question. You know what type of steak they use in cheese steak? You no. think it's just... You think it cheese was better, bro. No! Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut the hell up. Shut up. Cheese was goaded on cheese, How? bro. How? You go to gyms to get a cheesesteak, they put with cheese on it. Cheese? <laughs> that stuff is disgusting. Thing. Like, it's, it's just liquid cheese. You probably make it disgustingly. That's probably I nice. showed you how I made it. I get what I do. It's like I, I get, depending on the size of the roll, so I'll put either two or three slices of cheese. I put it in the toaster. I toast it for, toast like, you know, it. three minutes. Not only does the bread get crunchy, but the cheese melts. And then, bam, right then and there. Cold steak. grilled cheese, Marco. You remember that one? <laughs> it's called, I call it a raw grilled cheese. But as you know, instead of cooking the grilled cheese in the normal way, like in a pan, I sometimes I'll be lazy and shit. I get two pieces of bread, a couple slices of cheese, and put it in the microwave. The bread is uh, not cooked, and the cheese is melt. It's delicious. It's it's del it's del it's delicious. Uh, Melted yes. cheese in general is just delicious. Yeah, gonna, you don't of... you don't like grilled cheese, right? Grilled cheese is nasty. I thought you. Exactly, thank you. It I thought you said you like grilled cheese. No, that's Robert. You said no, no, no. you said a couple <clears throat> weeks, days ago that you liked grilled cheeses. No. How do you not like grilled cheese? You eat bread and you eat cheese. It's it's in a cheesesteak, minus the steak. Like, what? How do you not like a cheese? How do you like a grilled cheese? That's like saying, that's like saying, that's e it's eating a burger without the actual, like, meat in it. Stop, stop. <laughs> You're butchering no, this. You're all butchering this analogy, dude. Holy shit. All right, whatever. Uh, we're getting off it, it doesn't matter. But do you, doesn't... do you even know what type of steak they use in cheesesteak? No. So you're, hey. you're just... You, uh, Shut up. No, I don't need you talking, bro. <laughs> Shut up. Be not. They use, <laughs> they use chip steak. That's... It's part of the... Oh! No, I know, I know, I know, I know that. No, well, I know that. I know that. You because should my, know my, that. No. So if your cheesesteak is your favorite food, then you should know what type of steak they use in your cheesesteak. It's gonna be like rat. Meat. I, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I thought you were talking about like what it's usually cooked at. I was like, what? Whoa, what? I I know that it was chip steak. I know that chip steak or chicken cheesesteak. Chicken cheesesteak are disgusting. I hate buffalo that. chicken cheesesteaks though. That's like a mix of. World, I never heard of a buffalo chicken cheesesteak. What kind of diarrhea inducing ass rape do you have after oh, you that? Sh you should have heard the things that, that was happening when for I was in uh, 20 when I was saying chicken cheesesteaks. Oh, uh, but... yeah, for those anybody know my viewers at home, uh, John loves chicken cheesesteaks, but his stomach and ass does not like chicken <laughs> cheesesteaks. Like, he'll I'm eat a lot of it, and then like he'll be in the bathroom for like an hour straight, you know, <laughs> shitting his brains out. Witnessed. I don't, I don't I don't wanna get into detail because you know <laughs> I will. No, no, no. <laughs> oh no, Marco Marco, you don't even think you witness anything, bro. You, you I don't wanna witness it. it at all. I don't wanna I don't wanna like stay in the no. corner and watch you take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> what? I've heard it. So one time the one time I brought my mic into the bathroom. <laughs> Multiple times. We've see, chat, you see, see what I viewers at home you just have to deal with? I deal with these assholes, bro. These, this, 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 this shit is disgusting. <sighs> you start, but I think we should ask the viewers at home. But you know about this: cheese whiz or normal cheese? 
It's provolone. Why don't you add in provolone, bro? Add provolone. Provolone is disgusting. <laughs> American cheese is where it's at. Classic staple is no. American cheese, classic roll, no sesame, like John said. Just that. Just that. You can't. How can you do that? How? I mean, you like garlic in yours with like a yeah. weirdo. No. I'm Italian. Italian people put garlic in almost everything. No. Yeah, I'm no, Irish. Not... Yo, hold on. Speaking of garlic, bro, y'all ever have Brussels sprouts? I hate yeah. Brussels sprouts. My mom, I my mom, and my, bro my mom and my brother Don't love that. I hate it. Plain. My mom made it, dude. You, in order for it to be good, I have to have it covered in bro in uh, garlic, and it is so good. I See, they eat, like at least three of them. Nah, that's weird. That that's weird, man. Like, I mean, yeah, Marco, you can eat raw or garlic, so like, uh, like that goes in the same category as me being Italian. Like, I can literally uh, like. It's you, don't like what? you don't like olives. What? You don't like olives. John that nigga doesn't like cheese. <laughs> like what? We both have face. flaws about being Italian. Olives are I mean, disgusting. I'm, I'm, the texture, I'm, I'm the flavor Irish. is just horrendous. I wouldn't I'm throw Irish up when I eat an olive. I'm it's Irish, Irish. funny, dude. That's how I feel about cheese. The texture and flavors. If you melt it, it's just the best. What? Well, you're probably what? talking about like cold cheese. No one, obviously, no, no one can yeah. just like. I cold. used to eat cold cheese. I used when I was to young. be able to. Yeah, yeah me exactly. too. But the only way, the only way I'm gonna eat cold cheese is if it's like a sandwich. I can't eat cold cheese by itself. It has to be mixed with something or melted. Like I, my mom used to like hand me like lazy, like like the the square cheese. And I'm like. <laughs> that, that's how I would literally eat. Like it's you, you can't not eat cheese like that. It's like disgusting. Man. My my. Cause my mom and my brother are like the, that like the cheese eaters. Like you know they're stinky cheese. They eat that shit on purpose. It smells like ass and they eat it. I'm like, oh, dude, that's yep. Yeah, that that's my boss at work. They just I cut the cheese. It smells just, horrendous. It smells like so much feet. And you're just like, oh. she took a block and ate it. It's disgusting. Wait, wait, is that the kind of cheese where it has like the holes in it? No, that's Swiss cheese. It can be any type <laughs> of cheese. Like obviously, like Italian, Ita the Italian culture don't for like their cheese wheels. You ever saw a cheese wheel before, John? I'll show you after that. We start filming. Like it's like a big cheese wheel, and they like cut it. There's all different types of cheese. Does it look like a water wheel? No, it's just like like a, a thick block of cheese wheel. It's like it's uh -oh. simple, but it's okay. it's the most nastiest stuff ever. It's hum it's actually ridiculous how bad it is. But my pa my mom and that my 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 brother love it. Me and my dad are like kind of like the meat guys, you know what I mean? Okay, like, oh, you know, don't take it like that. Okay, no, don't take it. Oh, get your head out of your ass. Like, we like steak, bacon, and pork roll. We like all like the meats, like Arby's. Whoa. <laughs> I, have, me, I have the meats, dude. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. I have uh, Arby's. But yeah, like, like, no, like, that cheese stuff? No, nah, fam. That ain't it. Shit. That ain't all right. shit. So, like, yeah. So my favorite type of steak is, so I said ribeye. So I'm I'm chip. assuming John's is chip steak because yeah. cheese steak is not a steak. You retard. No, well I know, but like I thought you were talking about like the temperature. So I was like, what? So I'm, I was just saying. <laughs> what is the temperature steak? of a steak cut through the cheese steak? Like, I don't know. I, you know, I, you're probably thinking of how you like your steak cut. There's weird thoughts inside of a 13 year old mind. That's a whole lot of episode. <laughs> okay, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But they don't like well, they you probably think I'm like midnight you. thoughts. Mark was midnight thoughts. It's not midnight, but we can make it midnight. You know? Okay, dude. Oh, so it's John's just chips. Like, how about you, Nick? What's your favorite type of steak? Hmm. Oh, um. Well, uh. What's I can't figure out the name. I really can't. <laughs> is it like that? Wait, is it like the big bone and it's like a huge piece of meat? T bone. What is no. it? I like the one where you massage the meat. Wagyu. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Wagyu, yeah, bro. Oh, I said Wagyu. What? Yeah, it is Wagyu. Wagyu. Oh, that's Wagyu. A, like they like they feed the cows on like a diet, something that I don't know about, and they massage the meat and like they like it melts in your mouth. Oh my god, if you guys have Wagyu, bro, try that shit out. That shit is delicious, bro. But yeah, you know, viewers at home, viewers at home, how about you? Write down the comments down below right now. What is your favorite type of steak? Uh, obviously, ribeye's best. I think ribeye's. The thing is, like, how do you like you guys steak cooked? That's a real question. Like, steak is good at all, but it depends how yeah. you cook it. What temperature? My uncle, my uncle likes a blue rare. 
no. What the fuck is a blue bear? I mean, sorry. Why did I just say blue rare? I, 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 <laughs> just what? rare. Why did I just say blue rare? I have I mean, no rare. clue. Uh, I... Wait, wait, what? What is like the, what is like the very, like, like, most uncomfortable one? Is it like, I think that's rare. Let me check it out. Extra Ooh. rare? Something I think like that's raw, John. <laughs> no, people, no, people... no, you can't eat steak raw. It's called steak tartare. It's kind of like, you know what that is? It's like eggs. Know. It's like you mix eggs, <sighs> slices of steak, and like cheese. I mean, it's bleh, I don't. Every I, time I, don't I go know. over your house, Nico, that's super soft, though, bro. That's super soft, though. You think that meat isn't cooked, right? I know. Yeah, it is called. Uh, it is called rare, Nico, uh, John. Extra rare. Yeah. No, no, not extra rare. Like this. This is the picture that popped up. It can't really like the rare, oh. poppest one. Oh okay. yeah, it's just... like oh oh wait, rare rare is the it's then it's medium rare and then it goes medium. Yeah, it goes rare, medium rare, medium. medium, medium well and well done. If you like your steak well done, then you're a psychopath. <laughs> it, it takes you're literally. I think, like, I think medium. I think medium is good. Yeah, yeah, no, it's I get medium. Right. Medium is the perfect temperature. How about you, Nico? <laughs> we'll say medium well. <laughs> I thought it you had to be rare. different, bro. You just had to be different, Nico. <laughs> medium is because if you like if you like a well done, it's like getting a nice thick juicy burger and just taking all the juice out of it. It defeats the whole purpose. You don't get a, ste- a dry steak and just take all the juice out of it. You need to have the steak and the juices and the flavors. It's that simple. Cause like it, it, it ruins the whole purpose of it. Yeah, we we how long have we been talking about steak? To Jesus, <laughs> I told you, bro. I told you, man. Uh, Twenty-five the, minutes has been. I uh, twenty. Oh my god, bro. That's a whole ass sequel. That's like a whole ass episode, bro. <laughs> How about like I think the real question here, John, is why the hell are you wearing a hat at ten thirty at night? It's a style, you know. You know. A style, bro. Hey, hey, shut up, bro. I just I'm the only one who has my hair nice and out. Nick has a hoodie. John has a hat. I, I'm like. Listen, this hair. This oh yeah, hair you want to see more? Yeah, yeah. I got it. <laughs> Yeah, but I too can play that game, bro. This hair needs to be out of my face. <laughs> okay, okay. Anyways, 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 anyways. Yeah, bro. We're all gangsta right, bro. shit. We need to move on, man. We're all gangsta shit. But that's going to be on the sense of fashion. I think both of you have a shit fashion. I was going to say that like that. Yeah, yeah. shut up, Mar- yeah, Marco. Just if I want to dress. <laughs> I mean, not only like him. Um, Marco, you be running on extra, <laughs> extra, extra large t-shirts, bro. That's not fashion, bro. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You're done. You're done. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> You're done, nigga. You're I'm done. muting you. I'm muting. I'm muting from the server. No! <laughs> no, but like, oh, if I like, I like fancy clothes. I like it. I like, and I kind of just spoil myself. That's why I have like, I have some like fancy ass clothes in my closet that I wear. But like, no, I I got some new ones. Honestly, uh, so if I really wanted to, I can like dapper the the hell out of me. See, like John, like. How would, how would you describe John's sense of taste, Nico? How would you describe his taste of clothes? Like a wannabe, like, 13-year-old Fisher from Alabama. <laughs> but grew up in the Cracker neighborhood. <laughs> You're probably okay, the person okay, like right? Red <laughs> Cracker Barrel, bro. You like Cracker basically, Barrel? Basically, Nico style is the Italian mob because when we were running in the <sighs> streets, he was literally playing something like, uh... When what, what is I this song called? That's a more... Yeah. Yeah. That's racist because Italian is a little shit. Listen, listen, listen. And he was not out of energy the whole entire time. He was singing the whole entire it's time. It's like the Italian the national anthem. I'm sure Ooh. the Irish people have it in a we song that they're known for. Pasta too. <laughs> you're, the, you're the most fake Italian I've ever met, John. You know that? You're a wannabe Italian. You wish you were like this hunk of Italian meat, baby. Mm. <laughs> if you want, if you, you want to be Italian, the Marcus probably got some extra meat. Nick is fun. You some. Like, hey you know, yo. Hey, all right, all right. Um, I have good. I have good taste in humans. I'm just saying, like, my my style of clothing. I have good. Like, hold on. I think I think the views at home should be better. I got some cute clothes that I went to the shop for. Right, I was paying attention. Bro. <laughs> oh, bro. I got the Hawaiian blue. Look at this. This is amazing. This is like classic. My and then I got my. My favorite color and the best color underrated is this nice purple shirt that I just got, bro. No, uh, yeah, nice, bro. It's good. John, what kind of fight? I've yet to see you wear. 
Dude, you want me to... Should I use some fancy stuff, bro? Yeah, bro, no, let's see that. Let's see yeah. it. Let's see. Uh, you, oh. think, you think you're smart? You think you like have better taste than me? Uh, okay, dude. Uh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay dude. Uh, <laughs> okay, bro. Okay. I got a fancy uh, style, too. My favorite accessory... Is your, uh, man purse? Yeah. <laughs> I feel uh, I have I have a main purse somewhere in my closet. It's you know if you have one in America they're gonna judge you, but in Italy it's like a common thing. I got like a man purse. I used to put like everything in there when I was little. It's a common thing in Italy. <laughs> in Italy, did you say that there was like some sort of like sex aisle in the library or something? Yes, dude. For everybody, no, no, no. For some reason, Italy is really <laughs> fascinated with sex. It is absurd how like. There was a whole section in a library, right? right? We, me and my cousins and my aunts and uncles, we were, like, traveling through all the Italy, and there was this library, right? So I'm looking, I'm looking, and then there's, like, a whole section of the library. Just sex. Sex position, <laughs> the history of sex. The, the naked people. I'm, like, and I'm young when I went to Italy. It was, like, 2014, so I was, like, really young, and I was, like, oh, my gosh, this is awesome, bro. So I, <laughs> I'm over there, like, looking at all this shit. And every night, you know how Cartoon Network has Adult Swim after nighttime? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Italy at nighttime, <laughs> they just show straight up porn. <laughs> they they just show up straight up porn. Seriously? John, I'm to go to Italy now. John, John. Yeah. Yo, John. There. I have to get John for Christmas. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is the what is the age of consent? Moving on from the next question, uh, Italy it, is very like. But yeah, like, yeah, all, like you know. wait, wait, didn't you say that Italy doesn't have a drinking limit or something I like that? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm heading over. <laughs> <laughs> yo, John, 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 John's phone, bro. He's purchasing a ticket to Italy right <laughs> now. Like, yeah, hey, yo. <laughs> all right, like, Italy is, other than their, in our curious, curious selection of TV, Italy is a very, very beautiful place. Like, like, I, it's, everything is so natural there. Like, Everything's way healthier there. Like I know, I I lost a lot of weight actually there because the food is cleaner, like more healthier. The water there is way more cleaner. I have a lot of more walking. See, when you when you go to America, they put all this greasy, fatty shit in your food, right? And it's disgusting. Cause like, and then when you when you go to Italy, like everything's so clean, everything's so natural and stuff. So like, yeah, it, it, I, if you guys. Which brings me to, like, branching off to this next question, is that if you had, like, say, for example, you have, like, a million dollars in the bank right now, in your bank inventory, what, if you had to pick one vacation spot to go right now, you have no school, no work, nothing, you have one million in the bank, where would you go right now? You and your family, or just you and your friends, anyway, where would you gotta go? Hmm, that's nothing. a good question. So, like, so, I probably, I mean... I'm I'm not saying Hawaii just because of like everyone says it, but like first of all, that was my parents' honeymoon and they talk about it like so much and they like they want to go back at some point. Oh, and it yeah. just it sounds so cool because at one point they had to actually climb a tree. The coconut fell and it almost actually hit my dad's head. Coconuts are rare. Like I know in like the no, expression no, the cartoons. Died. Exactly. Died. Like they like they joke about like cartoons, but you people actually died and get really badly brain damage from falling coconuts but so like that's yeah. scary just imagine bro i wouldn't be alive imagine saying coconut, how you like, died like, yeah yeah he died like this and like oh yeah i got i died or a coconut fell like he was head. just john wicking up the tree <laughs> it's a real man shit i mean Nick, where'd you go where'd you go china 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 <laughs> yeah is there anywhere in china you want to go or just just China. The factory, so I could see how most of my products are made. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude, he's joking. I'm not trying to get my show canceled. So, no, no, I'm so for it. It's not like a racist thing, but it's like, keep in mind. Nico, I'm it's not, literally just a sign in manufacturing. It, it's not like, oh my god. I mean, god. it is true. Like, the, the, you know, everything it's is made in China. Store. It says I think, made in China. I feel like I'm they're, they're perfect. Everything there is so perfect. They, they think about, like, and not yeah, only like dog. China, but like Japan. I feel like Japan is like decades ahead of us in technology. Oh yeah, totally. They have so many cool stuff there; it's unbelievable. And 
Japan is so respectful, they have hardly, like, any, like, bad, like, things happen there. Well, yeah. Um, like, and, and they are so trustful in their citizens that they don't even have people, like, be at their gas stations. They don't have alarms. They don't have anything to, like, check really? for them. Really? Wow. Yeah. I mean, that, like, Japan is somewhere... Well, some. Def- some. Yeah. Some. Obviously, they probably have to for, like, little legal reasons, but, like, yeah. Like, J- J- Japan is one of the places I definitely want to go, because, like, their respectful culture. Their culture really fascinates me, like, the uh, ancient Japan, and, like, you know, like, their culture and stuff. But, um, the, either that, or, um... Definitely L.A. It's kind of weird. L.A. has a lot of fancy shit. And if you especially have one million in the bank, the amount of shit you could blow money in Los Angeles is unbelievable. Think about it. You have Hollywood, California, San Diego. You have all these cool places in Cal- L.A. I mean, California. I'm fucking retarded. California. <laughs> what? L.A. is not a state. It's a city. <laughs> Do not take me all my geography skills, okay? <laughs> just, just, just saying that right now. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, no. And I would cook you in geography. Absolutely dominate you. I, yeah, I Marco, you Marco, 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 oh. what's 50 plus 45? What the fuck has to do with geography? <laughs> still, <laughs> still. What's, what's 50 plus 45? 82. Well, it's 95. What? What's, what's the question? <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, gonna... okay, ready? Ready? What is 12 times 12? What is 12 times 12? 144. 144. Yes, that's what I said. <laughs> that's I know when I answer math questions, I, I'm a little British. You know, uh, listen, 144. 144. John. John, ready? Okay. Ask me any math question. 32 times 1 to the fourth power times zero. Ten. It's zero! <laughs> the, it's no. times zero! Zero no, times anything is zero! I can answer that question. It's, Ready? Answer, a, answer, a, give me your question, John. Give me a question. The, 42 ten. times three. Yes. <laughs> Wait, Boom. wouldn't it be, it'd be 126? <laughs> what was your evidence? You could be just saying, I can say 41 plus 10 is 11. Like, Wait, ask wrong. me ask me any question. That's like not like obviously like way too hard. Why? That's math. Why do you exist? <laughs> no, no. You why? Said, you said forty ten. That's Marco. Forty ten. You said forty ten. When did I say forty ten? <laughs> some... Okay, 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 Marco. Ask me any math question that isn't like too exaggerated. What is ten times fifteen? <laughs> 150. Alright, boys, just turn it into math class. Yeah, this is really turning me off right now. <laughs> like, this is like a Zoom call meeting right now. I fucking hate that. It's 10 at 9. I'm not trying to get into that, bro. And, but you know, what, you know what it does? You know what it does? Video games. Uh, okay, dude. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, anyways, anyways. Let's move on with the questions. Alright. Uh, um, like, I, I, right now, at this exact moment, I was recording this 2021 November. What is the video game to play right now? Ah, the video game. Uh, it, I it, know it, what y'all gonna say, it, but for the viewers at home, I want you to tell them. Marco, you can't say I'm gonna be the show. You can't say Cold War. Alright, All right, you can say I'm gonna be the show. Hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> listen, listen. Hot War is so much better than Cold War. Yes, sir. I need to take what exactly. is Hot War? Yes, yeah. It's a better version of Cold War. Yes, sir, bro. It's just when it's pretty much when you're good at the game and not bad at it. I uh, I mean Marco, it, Marco is playing a negative Cold War, Marco bro. Marco plays Cold War. Me and you <laughs> Actually, I play Hot War, you play Mild War. <laughs> oh, I'm sped. Oh my god. I just realized what y'all were doing. You fucking dumbass. <laughs> fucking assholes. Okay. We're talking about Cold War. Call of Duty Cold War. So, me and Nico went cold war, and you and I won't be the show. I won't be the show. It's really underrated, I think. Baseball, like, I you won! know. I, I know, I, I will admit, though, John, I will admit. Remember that question I asked earlier in the last episode about what's better, basketball or baseball? Basketball. I, the response, some of the responses did say basketball, but I think they're wrong. 
I think wait, 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 wait. I want to see the percentages. It was, uh, um, said, yeah, you should have done tally. So, I guess, like, the thing is, though, is that baseball, in my opinion, it brings more of the viewer into it. It's more, builds more suspense. Basketball is just back and forth, throw the ball on the hoop. He shoots, he's like, no, that, that shit's boring. That's boring. No, Sherry, it's not. Sure. It takes talent, a lot more talent than baseball. No, it does not. You yes, need way more strength. You need the more hard, speed. The hardest sport of all time is soccer. Yeah. I don't that, even know. I don't even play soccer. I don't even yeah, watch no. soccer. I did. I and, you know, sport. they worked like a jackass. <laughs> you played soccer? Yeah. I played <laughs> soccer for three years, I think. I was the sweeper. Dude. And I was and I was a goalie. Like a street sweeper? Like what? No, Shut the fuck so, up, Cold War. No, ready. <laughs> John, ready? A sweeper is the person that usually cleans up the mess. After oh, the oh, so the water happens. boy. The water boy. Yeah. The I was water. the cheerleader on the side, you know. <laughs> the cheerleader, you know. I just didn't cheer. Gee, oh my god. People, if people say that cheer is a sport, then you should, like, actually consider, you know, you know, fucking, like, thinking about life. I think gymnastics is a sport, but cheerleading a is smart? a sport. A, s- <laughs> a, s- a sport. I just said smart. Because if you, if you actually take time to look at gymnastics, it is crazy. It is. Like, it takes a lot of, you know, obviously you need to be fit. So, like, Nico can't do it, but I can. So. <laughs> <laughs> like, this peak. Mm. Oh, you wish. Oh, dude, I'm built like a, a man. Well, yeah, like. You're built what? like two men. Hey, yo, what, what, do you, what do you mean by that? What do you mean what by you that? Mean by that? <laughs> what you mean by that? Yo, what like, you yeah. Because, like. Honestly, like, right now, because, like, Cold War, like, when I used to play, when I first came out, like, a year ago, like, that was, shit was my stuff. Like, I grinded that. Nico knows how much I loved it back then. I mean, don't get me started on Warzone. Do you like it or hate it now? Because I haven't heard you talk about it in a while. Just, just me. I don't know. Yeah, John goes <laughs> on a tangent about Warzone, so I should just meet him now, and, like, I'm meeting by the end of the episode. I would cook every single one of you here four times in a row in Warzone. Best step, I cooked you. I will admit it. I suck. I don't really care. That's up to you. I already know I'm gonna get my ass clapped. Marco, Marco, did you just hear Nico? Uh, to be honest, I haven't played Warzone in like a year. Like, almost. You saw what could happen, and you see how much. That's Cold War. And you, just imagine me in Warzone. Last time I played Warzone, I had like twenty four. Warzone games. is so much harder than match. Cold War. Warzone, that's because that's because they have the people on their cheat. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This is like gonna be like an eighty-minute topic. So <laughs> let's just say I'm better than both of you. Move on. Okay? Uh, <laughs> moving on for the next. <laughs> well, moving on, right? Okay, because no, let's be honest. Do you guys really play mobile games now? Clash Royale. Oh, yes. Oh, Why is everyone in the mall playing that game? Don't know. We are the OGs of Clash Royale, bro. Wow. I pl- I didn't play Clash. Actually, wait. no. Isn't there two type of Royales? Is Clash Royale and what else? Let me check Clash Royale uh, right now. Actually, oh, it's Clash of Clans. That's what it is. Clash of Clans. I played Clash of Clans when that shit was a phase. It was fun at first. Like I want to get into like those t- strategy type games and stuff. Like I'm never good at those stuff. Like, like, like been playing this. This game, I don't know what okay. you call it, but you throw balls. <laughs> oh, I played that game. Yeah, that game was oh, old. That game was fun. Yeah, I don't level know. 13, everything, you know. Wow, what a beta. You only level 13. <laughs> Fucking beta. <laughs> You're beta on the alpha, please. If anybody like, knows the real game, BMX 2. <laughs> skate. No, skate. Yo, no, not skate, skate. Fruit Ninja, Happy Wheels. Um. Oh, the God, Happy Wheels had a mobile game. But it's, it's more better known on the PC, but the uh, FOMO was more fun. Jetpack Joyride, Pixel Gun Angry Birds. Angry Pixel Birds. Gun I had a real... Yeah, um, am I the angry. only person who had, like, a Candy Crush phase when it was, like, first Radiant oh, I uh, I Day? That, like that was young. I was young when Candy Crush came out on mobile. Like, Candy Crush was really fun when I first played it. But, like, now, when I was younger, obviously, I would ask my dad to play on his phone, or like my mom's iPad, and then the older I got, I got my own, uh, my first iPod, and I started playing it, and then I got a knife. But, like, the more older that I get, I don't play any, like, phone games anymore. Like, I play... Pokemon Go! Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that was the last big major game I played. That was, like, 2016, right? I think it was. Because I remember, I remember walking around my Copper Beach 
with my phone out in the middle of the other hallways. <laughs> oh, there's a Poke Gym, bro. Let's get it. <laughs> and that shit was annoying. And they have like to shake your phone and like in order to catch it or something like that. Yeah. No, no, I never. I, to be honest, the only thing I did was I just tried to capture it. That's the only thing I did. I never did the side missions. I mean, Minecraft mobile is okay, but like, nah, that's not know. bad. Nah. But like now, I don't. I have games on my phone, but I don't play them. I'm the main apps that I use is YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and uh, most of my time at home, I'm just on. TikTok or YouTube. Like, I don't play any games on my phone. Like, the only game... Xbox. Well, I'll talk about mobile games. I don't play any mobile games anymore. Back then, when I was little, I did. But, yeah. But, like, kind of branching off onto, like, that sports-type discussion. What are y'all favorite sports? Like, yeah. Mm, That's hard. Big trust. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Oh uh, no! How are you not saying football? I thought you were dumb into football. He was, and then he started playing, and then started crying, and then never <laughs> touched it again. No, I just, I no, I just got bored of it. And plus, I played. You know, I played football for seven years, right? Yeah, until you realized how to actually play football. Oh, I- oh! Wait, Chewbacca! You turn into a car engine for a second, <laughs> dude. It's like a whole ass Chewbacca over there. Uh, I'll, I'll probably say, I don't know. I, like, Major League so Gaming. Fun. You can say, you can say there's gaming. So, there's so many fun sports. Esports. Perfect right there. E- Listen, bro. <laughs> perfect. Listen, bro. Perfect order of sports. No, no. Football, this, no. Basketball. No. Listen, no. bro. Football, basketball, no. soccer, no. baseball. No. no. Yeah. I mean, let, me, let me rephrase that. <clears throat> baseball, 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 baseball. <laughs> and our honorable mention football. How, Football's how, a close our, second. How you love baseball the most? The, the it's worst more easy, and I think it's more like, um, like yeah, like I think it's more simple. Cause like baseball, like with football, it's so it's, it's like there's easy less game. stuff to like pay attention to in um baseball. Like football, I love. You can love barely see the ball. Match. Football, you can barely see the ball, or like. It's like an interception every ten seconds, and then like the play, and then like blow the whistle, and then like over and over again. Basketball is just boring. It's just two a bunch of teams going back and forth with the ball and hooping in the net. Not fun. Hockey, you can't see the puck, so you don't you're know what the hell is going on. You're, bro, you're soccer, it's long. I'm slowly starting to Hockey's soccer. dangerous. Hockey's All sports are dangerous, but soccer, the hockey is dangerous. Besides baseball, baseball's a pussy sport. Thanks. John, can I throw a 90 mile per hour fastball at your face? You see Mark, that shit would hurt. Sure. Not in, not as t- tough as getting in contact every single pretty you think much. There's any contact in baseball? Do you know that it was a rule? No. Be, you can if you're uh, running to home, you can legit tackle a catcher. Some guy got his career ended because he got tackled so hard. I like I'm the catcher. Uh, I'm just saying Talking. Let me know when you want Calais Campbell charging at you. Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> right here. Like six, six, <laughs> six foot, like five, like no, two hundred ninety. Yeah, six, six foot, foot eight, eight, like it's three hundred and ten pen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what yeah. just charging at you, man. Until you see that. Wait till you see that. Now you got Shahey Otani. Son, I'm about to chase you. Yeah, <laughs> Otani is a is that what you man. Dude, dude, Calais Campbell is fast for his uh weight though. He is fast. Yeah. Wow, what are you implying, dude? What are you implying? You think he's a, he's fat? You saying that? No, fast. Mm. Yeah, he's fat. Like me. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best safety. Oh, what the hell is that? The best safety <laughs> dude, in football. The, the but yeah, so. The football things. So, Nico. Oh Nico's favorite football. Why do you like, why are you into football, Nico? Why? Because. I can tell you, I'm good at it. That's why. It's the best sport. It, it really is, though. I fucking want to end this episode right okay, now. Okay, ready, ready, ready? The best sports is football, 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 football. And an honorable mention is football. Basketball. You know? Not football. Basketball, not, not. I fucking yeah. hate, I, I, I hate this. I really hate I guess both what, of guess you. What, guess what? You know why LeBron my favorite player? Because he's he can play bitch. football and he's basketball. He's just like football. He's a crybaby. He cried 
He's he's probably the most crybaby person in sports. What about he, you, bro? I was a man. Bro, isn't like the best player of all time to name Babe Ruth? Don't you dare bring up his name. You have no <laughs> privilege. You have no fucking idea the man on the best no. of all time is Yo, the come on, Babe. Head. Let's go to the grocery shop. Shut no. the fuck up. Just shut up. <laughs> just, um, just please make your mic for the rest of this episode. Just please do it. I got you, I got you. Just do something for favorite. But like, yes, LeBron, I don't know me, how. Babe. I, I I saw this picture on Instagram. It's been trending everywhere. Where, um, what's his name? Kevin Pillar for the set outfielder for the Mets got hit in the face with a fastball. He got up in like ten sec, twenty, ten, twenty seconds. LeBron James gets poked in the eyes and all on the ground for a minute, <laughs> crying. <laughs> what a pussy, dude! Yeah, you're yeah, your yeah. king. Yeah. Your king. Yeah. Is that yeah. salty hear me and out, bro. soft? He's like, <laughs> listen, hear me out. He's 40 year old going against people like Giannis, though. Yeah. I'm much like get my eyes poked and getting my face Giannis, hit by a ball. Giannis Antetokounmpo? Yeah, yeah say, that, say that last name 10 times fast. You got a coupon? Is that what you're saying? You're uh, I got a coupon. I got a coupon. I got a coupon. Anyways, I got a coupon. anyways, anyways. We might have to cut out the corner of my screen. Why? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh, it's about goals. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. Okay, we're no, breaking off this conversation <laughs> yeah. because we, we, we're going to get into a big ass argument if we talk about sports any time long because, you know, like baseball's these the best. Conversations. Shut, shut, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Nice with you, How about anybody at home right now? What do you got? What's what's your favorite sport? Write down in the comments down below. What's your favorite sport? Baseball's best. Hold on. Listen, bro. No, before basketball and football. How? Oh, why? This, before we end this, before we end this, another thing about LeBron, bro, is that in today's league, it's so easy to get a foul. So might as well abuse it. Back in the day, you could fight in the refs and barely get a tech. Shut up, Nico. Shut up, Nico. I mean. Bro, if you, I do not, bro, literally the other, what was it, not too long ago, someone, like, yelled at the ref, or looked at him, and he got ejected from the game. Cap. I should have it up. So they right. it, was, it was JJ Reddick who tossed the ball back at the ref as he passed to give him back the ball, and he got kicked. Like, so nah. Fun. Like, I don't know. Like, so I started watching soccer a tad bit, and I, started, that's, I actually like it. Like ba- basketball is just so boring to watch. Ba- basketball belongs in the category of sports that are boring to watch but are fun to play. Like I like playing basketball. Like I, I golf is boring to watch. It's all hell, but playing golf is fun. Um, not that many kids my age who like golf. Golf is like, oh, you're an old fart. If like, do you play? Do you like golf, John? No. Why? How? Because it's boring as hell. And but and I yes, I have played it. It's boring. Golf is so fun though. Like it, it's not it's about patience. Okay? Golf is like it's not like high impact content like more hyper like baseball, football, shot or like any of that. But it's more relaxing. How about you, Nico? Do you like golf? Mm, I like mini golf. <laughs> 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 putting and putting is annoying. I suck at putting, so I suck at mini golf. Like yeah, we're, talk- we're talking about like long distance. Like I can drill that shit with the driver. Oh, yeah, like, I, went to- I can go like I went- ham on that. Like I don't know I'm- what the uh, I think it's called free golf, or something like that. You bas- it's it, oh. just say it's a fucking golf court, uh, golf range. You can just basically drill the yeah. ball. Uh, I forget what it's called. Yeah, but I went to one of those. Top so golf. Which one? Yeah, Top Golf. I'm about to go there again. I want to go there for like a hangout, all of us. Like, I want to show you like the muscle that I have okay. when it comes to golf, uh, dude. What do you think? I mean, golf and baseball are not that different. Like, you know, like, you kind of like to have that stance. You need to have like a, a nice stance. You know what I mean? I mean, you can't hit a ball for your life. So, John, you can't play. <laughs> You're 13. Yeah, you, probably you, play, stole, you probably okay, stole. Matter, 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 you probably stole your. You probably. Yeah. Matter, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know what? You know what does matter? What was your most embarrassing moment in your life? That's that's what matters. How about that? You, nah, you gotta go first. You gotta go first. No, more. no, no. I'm oh. the host. I'm asking my I guests the question. I already know Marcos. I already know Marcos. 
Oh, wait, I, was uh, it the Christmas costume? It was a few weeks before Christmas. No, okay. <laughs> I'm the host. I'm asking you. I'm not asking me. Okay, I'm you, you know. You, you, you. Wow, my forehead is shiny. Holy shit. What's uh, the You're trying to change the topic. Right Let's idea. get back to the critical topic. <laughs> favorite stink, guys. What is your favorite stink? <laughs> okay, okay. I'll... Okay. Let, uh, let's finish on me last. Let's focus on John. John, what was your most embarrassing life? Mo my most um, life. Fucking cheesesteaks. <laughs> your history with cheesesteaks. So, there was this one time. Um, <laughs> I was in my room and I was just so I was um on a Discord with like nine people, and of course I was the one person that was streaming. Among Us board. <laughs> My parents walk in. <laughs> and then it's just, yeah, it's just, they look at me in the weirdest way and it just like walks out. That was your just... fun of everybody, bro? Yeah. I mean, I feel like yeah, most of our, I feel like most of our embarrassing memories have to involve our parents. Like, we love our parents, but like sometimes they, you know, it's a job to embarrass us. As a as kind of part of their job. All right, Nico. What's your most embarrassing moment? What's my most? I don't think I have one. I'm yeah, I'm no, no, I'm no. no you just don't dude. know. No, I actually don't know. I can't think of any of yours. I, I can't. I can't think of any for me. This one. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> See, no one people sit on the railings. <sighs> And go down the rails. Yeah. yeah. So on our way to an assembly tour of school, I decided <laughs> to try and do that with my backpack on. Yeah. And when I tell you, I went <laughs> flying backwards down the <laughs> railing. Wait, wait. Was it the Copper Beach stairs where it's like it's an actually huge drop? No, it was. It was the stairs to the mini theater, which are the largest. A little theater. The, the, the little theater. <laughs> Oh wait, so it was um it was the center stairs. Basically, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I mean Dude, that hurt. <laughs> the most embarrassing <laughs> I mean uh, Marco, Mark, I don't no, know. No, I'm man. not talking I about that one. That's for you. that's another yeah. <laughs> topic. That's for another <laughs> fucking topic. My my embarrassing moment wasn't as much as embarrassing, but it was kinda cool. Um, I think it was 2018, I think it was 8th grade, and the school was doing, like, a, like a karaoke event. It was mostly, like, kind of, like, dancing and singing, and, like, groups of kids, right? So, it was me and a bunch of my friends, and I told them, like, yo, I can do the warm. And I'm like, bro, you can do the warm? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah bro, you got, you got to do it, bro. <laughs> so, we get on stage, and, like, I'm a very, like, social guy, I like talking to a lot of people, but, like, when I tell you, like... If you're on stage, if anybody in my home or Nico, Nico or John, <laughs> like well, the moment you get on stage, like your shit just drops. You're like, oh, there's a lot of people here. I don't know if I can do this, bro. So what I do is like we're dancing, like it's very awkward, like we're lip singing and shit. It's fucking so corny. So then like my friend pulls me over because like yo yo, you do the warm, do the warm. I said, okay, so what I did. So the stage is right here, right? And like the 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 crowd is right there. So I go behind the curtain, behind the stage, <laughs> and I start like hyping myself up. Like, yeah, let's go. You could do this. And I practice a quick warm. And I was like, okay, okay. And I came back the other way. And I just say, you know what? Fuck it. Don't look at the crowd. Focus on yourself. And I just go down and go bring, bring, bring. And then I was like, yeah. Like, everyone was like, I got, go I have goose in this hall. I was so dope. So then the next performance comes up, and my history teacher comes up. And then I was like, yo, his name is Mr. Higgins. Shout out to Mr. Higgins. And I said, yo, bro, you got to do it. I somehow convinced my history teacher to do a war the warm with me. So with him going the other way and me going the other way, we both did the warm <laughs> side to side. It was nuts. Everyone was from bad shit crazy. Like, everyone was just... Let's talk about the Christmas one, though. Let's okay, move on to the next topic before I mute John for the rest of the episode. <laughs> Long story short, I wore Christmas pants at school because I know it was festive. 
but something else wasn't festive, so that's <laughs> I was gonna leave it at that. Kill your ass. Basically, what happened was. Like, uh, <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, I mean, I think we should start wrapping it up. We've been recording for 54 minutes now, and I gotta go to bed. I'm tired. It's 11 yeah, at night. Let's let's wrap up with one more ending question. One more. Ending, uh, do you have a question? No, you got a question. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> Mm. What kind of party was it? <laughs> baseball or baseball? <laughs> <laughs> but, but, um, what's a good question we should end up on? What do y'all think? I think what is the perfect size foot? What do you mean with the perfect size foot? You had the big feet, little feet, medium feet. Okay, I know. That's stupid question. That's a stupid question. Are, what we, sh- what you... we should answer. Ready? <laughs> are you an rather... introvert or an, outro- or an extrovert? I mean. The fuck does that mean? Just skip that marker. Uh, anyways, would you rather be sad but rich or happy but poor? What happy. Uh, well, mm. What about in the middle? Yeah. You would be the fucking person. Just pick <laughs> fucking one or the other, you difficult bitch. Nah, bro. I'm always happy. Uh, <laughs> Actually, who has the blue LED lights crying about life right now? I would say... Don't make me do it. Happy, but well, it depends. Like, how poor? Like, homeless? Like, poor? you have a small apartment and you, know, you need to pay rent. Like, that type of like, you're like, you're like, like small am I in ap- debt or am I kind of, yeah, but room? like, like oh, your, okay. fina- your financial oh, situation is not ha- the best, but like, you're still happy. As, yeah, long as, I'm not, as long as I'm not homeless and I'm like being completely miserable and I can be happy, yeah. yeah. I think there's no way to be happy when you're homeless. I'm not gonna lie. There's like. I mean, yeah. I mean, as long as you can make the most of the situation as like you know that type of person, like I feel like that you can make it out. So like, I would definitely say, uh, oh, like, poor but happy. But not like like I said before, like a small apartment. You know, kind of just like living in there. You know, how about you, Nick? How about you, Nico? Huh. I already said my answer. You're not <laughs> in picking middle. in the middle. <laughs> you're not. Don't be that guy. You're not that guy, Bill. You're, 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 you're not that guy, Nico. You're, you're not that you're, guy. You're not that guy. Already hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna choose the happy but poor one. Ha- no, happy. happy. Because I'm happy. I'm gonna be uh, yeah, 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 a rich yeah, yeah. girlfriend. Find me a rich. I'm gonna be poor and happy. Find me a rich girlfriend. Become happy and rich. Money moves. That's okay, cool. Nico's not in this question because Nico's just a difficult bitch. <laughs> so just, yeah, just me and you, John. You, John, like me and you right here, John. What's wrong with my Anyways, guys, Not the guy down there. Guys, we're going to wrap it up today. Are you doing my we're fucking gonna... outro? Yes, I am. Get the fuck out. I'm mur- I'm kicking you out of this call right ah! now. I'm just like, okay, before, before we end though, bro, this is Marco's f- fucked up fact of the day. Did y'all know that more people get viruses off Christian and like religious websites and porn sites? Johnny, I think you should test this out right now. Go, go to a religious website right now. Oh, yeah, man. No, yeah, yeah. yeah, right now. You look at YouTube. I'll do it right now. While, while we're recording this, I'll do it right now. Getting computer right now. Oh, my God. God. There's black helicopters. My, the FBI. <laughs> okay. All right, my right, God. That is going to wrap up the video, guys. Um, Thank you guys so much for joining me. You know, we're definitely going to have Nico and John on in the future episodes. But right now, um, actually, before we end it, though, I want to ask you guys at home. But the last question, would you guys... Rather be poor and happy, or would you guys be ha- sad but rich? No, no, we we heard besides Nico's answer, we heard you and John's, because Nico is just a gold digger, basically. <laughs> you're a gold digger in a nutshell. <laughs> That's a, you're you're a gold digger. <laughs> you're gonna kill her and like, oh my god, the money's going to me, you know? Yeah. Why she leave it so to yeah. me? Oh, so yeah, so that's gonna be the end of this video, guys. If you guys end up enjoying it, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure to leave a like, and um, you guys have any social media you want to shout out where y'all can they can follow y'all? Uh, actually, Ligma, if you want to challenge me in four five, you know, if you want to challenge me in two K or Madden, hit me up. Where can they follow you? Hmm? Where can they follow you? On Instagram. Good luck finding my name, though. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah. So, guys. Um. <laughs> I'm still trying to. I'm still trying to figure out. Um. How to get this on Spotify and SoundCloud, but for now, it's be on YouTube. So yeah, guys, make sure you subscribe. 
write down in the comments down below all the answers we answered. And if you guys made it this far in the video, what is your favorite movie of all time? Mine is Avengers Endgame. It's a classic. So yeah. Make sure you guys leave a like and I'll see you guys everyone. Say goodbye guys. Yeah. Peace until the next episode. Oh, by the time we record this, it won't be Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving for the minute out there. Enjoy it. Have fun. So, see you guys.